This is Del Warren from the Kegel Training Center with your next Team Masters tip. This next drill is called the three-step drill. It's utilized for a couple reasons. One, it's a timing drill that gets you in the correct sequence to get to the foul line. And the second is occasionally we have to move left in the ball return. We have to get deep inside in the lane. It allows us to get in front of the ball return and actually eliminate uh, the, the uh, challenge of getting around the ball return. All right, so let's go see what this is about. Okay, so now we're gonna demonstrate the drill and to help us do this, our uh, WIU champion, Christus, is going to uh, demonstrate the three-step drill and we're gonna take you through the sequence on how to teach it, what you're gonna do today in your tip, and then how to execute it, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is, Christus has taken three steps back from the dots, three normal steps, and now we're gonna turn back around, all right? And the first way we're gonna teach this is um, just by doing the steps, very similar to when we, we did the five-step approach, only this time we're only gonna do the last three steps. The sequence is he's gonna start with his left foot, because this is um, talking about the last three steps of a five-step approach. So he's going to use, he's gonna go left, right, left. The length of the steps are gonna be long, short, slide. And he's really gonna make this first step long, okay? So go ahead, Christus. Okay, let's try it one more time. So when you get set up, you're gonna go long. Your second step is actually gonna to be together, right next to the previous step. Long, together, slide. One more time. Because we know in the five-step approach, the third step is the longest other than the slide, and the, the fourth step or the pivot step is the shortest. Long, together, slide. Very good, all right? So now once we do that, we're going to um, execute this without the ball first, right? The key here is we're gonna start the ball into the swing before he takes a step. And that step is not gonna be taken until the arm just about gets down, that is hanging straight down from the shoulder, okay? And we're gonna do this in slow motion first. So take your time, just do it about half speed. Long, together, slide. Very good. Okay. One more time. Go ahead and back up a little bit. And notice he's starting his arm first, and it's, he's not going to start taking his first step until the arm gets down here where it's hanging straight down from his shoulder. Long, together, slide. Very good. Okay. So let's see that from the side view. So now we're gonna demonstrate this um, from the side view and you'll be, you'll be able to clearly see the relationships between the steps, okay? So first, again, um, when you train today, we're, we're not gonna swing our arm and we're only gonna do the footwork, okay? So long, together, slide, very good. One more time. Very long, and then the second step is together, side by side, together, slide, very good. All right, and then once we do this, what I want you to notice is as he's gonna do that hinge motion that we talked about in the full approach, all right, and what we're gonna do here is as he gets this going, he's not gonna take his step until the arm is about here, okay? And from a timing aspect, it can be anywhere between one ball uh, in front of the ball or in front of the leg to one ball in back of the leg. But in a perfect world, what we're aiming for here is I want him to take the step when the arm gets to be right there, right in front of the knee. Very good. And notice the rhythm of that. It's long, short slide. Long, short slide. One more time. Again, he's going to wait for the arm to get to the bottom of the swing. Very good. Okay? So now let's watch Christus actually throw the ball doing this. As again, not only is this a timing drill, but as I said before, um, this can be used to be th thrown uh, when, the, when you, uh, the lane gets dry enough to where you have to move in front of the ball return. Set up in a normal setup. Very nice. And Christus has done this a few thousand times, and um, he's actually very good at it, um, and actually can throw normal shots as uh, 
as the boys quite frequently get in front of the bar return. So let's see that from the back. He's going to have the same setup as he did, did before in uh, the full approach, no different. He's going to hinge the ball into the swing. And the key here is the sequence will not be correct is if you start that left foot with the ball, everything else is going to be out of sync. That first step is going to tend to get short. So it's really important that this swing is nice and loose, nice and rounded, and that you wait till the ball gets to the bottom to take that first step. Make that step very long. First step. Excellent. Very nice. And that's how you execute the three-step drill. Good luck.